Okay, so we're just investigating uh, the side of a lava channel, um, still out in the Pahoehoe fields on Reconis Peninsula. So Gro, do you want to explain the um, textures we got in front of us? Yeah, so this is, a, as you said, just a part of the lava channel and you can really see how the, after the channel here emptied, the, some lava was still running down, making these glazed, dribbly structures. Um, so and the, the lava was flying this way, but then yeah. it drained down the side. Yeah, and you can even, it's maybe not the best examples, but you can still see some kind of, a little bit of some benches here. Yeah, like so you've had different lava levels uh, during the eruption. Kind of like the dirty layers in your bathtub if you've been <laughs> yeah, out exactly. in the bush too long and then yeah. you... <laughs> yeah, exactly. Now we're on the other side of the channel and we've got this beautiful cross section through a series of um, Pahoe Hoe sheets. Uh, Gro, do you want to explain some of these, these sheets in front of us? Yeah, so these sheets have, have sheets, not sheep. <laughs> sheets formed when uh, the lava channel was very full and basically it has overflows of very fluid gas rich lava and that is creating these individual centimeter sized layers here. So this is actually how the channel is building up itself. When it's very full, it overspills and it builds out these levees and that way it keeps its channel. Um, and the lava being uh, focused in the channel. So we basically see these very vesicular thin sheets, which is called uh, uh, shelly pahoy hoy sheets. Great, and these are the kind of things that if we were looking from on top, you could see those kind of ropey surfaces and bulbous toes. Yeah, that is one of the types of pahoy hoy that do that, yeah. Mm -hmm. 